Hello everybody, today I have a cool little halogen bulb to share with all of you. This is a MR11 blue 20 watt halogen flood or spot bulb. It doesn't really necessarily say, but blue, blue, blue. And you can see it kind of has a neat effect going on there. Yes, this is a dichroic filter. It filters out all the light except blue. Very cool. I think you can still find some of these little halogens with that dichroic filter on them, but they're not too easily available in store anymore. Maybe some specialty lighting supply house. But this is a unique one. I do believe seeing this style of package at Fry's Electronics when they were still around. I'm guessing somebody acquired whatever was left of them there and they eventually ended up at the ReStore because they had a whole bunch of this particular brand of bulbs there. Now, if I would have seen a blue one like this at Fry's, I probably would have snatched it up if I had any, you know, thinking going on when looking at their different bulbs, but I probably didn't even notice. Either way, there's not much information here on the packaging. It says manufactured for Black Point products of Point Richmond, California. And as we've seen with the other style of this bulb, it's probably not made, you know, by them. It was made by somebody else for them. So let's go ahead and get it out of its package here. I'll just peel off the bottom and grab the bulb. Okay, I'm just going to set this down. Let me get this package back put together. I do want to somewhat keep it intact. So there's our little bulb. And normally you want to use... Um, you know, gloves or something. You don't want to get oils on these bulbs. The heat will ruin them. But we do have a cover here, as you can see, and that's our dichroic filter. See how I put it at different angles? You get different colors out of it. Very cool. This one just says MR11, 12 volt, 20 watt. And I cannot wait to turn this thing on. Let me clean that off a little bit. Ooh, that is beautiful. This is going to be a beautiful color. I cannot wait. Okay, so let's see. We have a 20-watt a one in here. Let's go ahead and put in our standard but much more awesome-sized bulb in here. Very cool. Got to get our socket, of course. Okay, look at the different colors. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait. Here we go. We're going to turn off the lights. We're going to turn it on in three, two, one. Look at that. It's like yellow. Yeah, it's, it's blue. I mean, there's a lot of white light too because a lot of it's being reflected out of the back of the reflector. So it's just combining back together. But if you look at just the center of the light itself, you get the blue. So... Very cool. We have the yellow, kind of a purple, and the blue in the middle. But of course, again, we have that effect going on. So let me see if I can, you know, we have a lot of that yellow coming out of the back because it's being reflected. Let me put this cover on and see if we can uh, get rid of some of that color we don't want. Look at all that yellow coming out the back. It's definitely blue. Again, a lot of that yellow is interfering I bet if we could cover a lot of that up, I'm going to try to cover it up myself here. Yeah, you get that beautiful blue. That That's the only problem is that you have all this. Um, yeah, look at that. It's a beautiful blue. We have all this other light uh, reflected together with it. Okay, well, if we point it directly at the Lux meter here, we do have the interference of the back color, um, but we're getting about... 500 lux or so. 22.2 uh, watts. Of course, power factor of 1. 0.18 amps. At 119.4 volts. Yeah, very cool. Uh, too bad it's all being mixed together with the yellow. I think what we could do is remove the reflector and maybe we'll get a better result. You know what? Let's try it. I got the inner reflector off. As we can see here, it has a whole bunch of insulation. And it's white now, but at least it won't be reflecting. So let's see what kind of light we get out of it this time. We still have that strong yellow. It's a very nice yellow. But now, there's our dot of blue. Oh, it's a beautiful pure blue too. 
Of course, we have all this yellow around it that's kind of ruining it at the moment. But it's cool. It's like you have the blue dot and a yellow outside. It's just, it's a very unique effect. So let's try it again. We'll point it directly at the lux meter here, and we're getting about 400 lux or so, 420 if I hold still. Let's go ahead and move it on over to the Variac here and see what we get when we dim it. Here we go. 10, 20, 30. It brightens up at 30. 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Okay, if you look directly at it, you'll see the beautiful blue. How cool is that? What a unique effect. Yeah, beautiful spot of just blue. Well, I suppose that all that is all there is to say for this dichroic filter halogen bulb very cool if you find one of these i definitely recommend picking it up you get some pretty cool effects as you can see here and these came in multiple different colors not just blue you can get them in red yellow um, i think they may have done orange green they had different colors as well so be on the hunt for them they produce some neat effects again i do hope you enjoyed this quick little video and also please comment rate share and subscribe thank you very much for watching